Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a cash condensing, so I'll be going through all of my cash envelopes and condensing the smaller bills for bigger denominations. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I have my month ahead binder. So I am a month ahead on a few bills, which is why I have this month ahead binder. So I keep the cash in here for each bill that is a month ahead so that this money is not combined with the like current month in my bills binder so i have my rent payment for december 1st that needs to be paid so before i pay my rent i like to take this money because i do have higher denominations and i like to use these in my cash condensing so that i can go through all of my envelopes and condense other uh, denominations like fives and ones so that my envelopes don't get too bulky because that is not good for these matte vellum envelopes so actually I need to count this before I get started to make sure I have the correct amount so let's give this money a quick count I have one two three four five six seven eight hundred fifty one fifty two hundred 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, so 180, 10, 20. So I have $1,200, which is my full rent payment. So we are good on that. My rent went up, so it was 1180, but they've only been charging me 1150 because that $30 extra was for my cat and they've never charged us that. So now I just checked my account. It is $1,200, so I'm not going to have that extra $30 anymore, which is a bummer, but oh well. So I will not be co condensing any of my bills just because these don't get too full. They go to the bank once a month, and that's that. So I will set this to the side, and let's start off with my bills binder i will not be condensing bills but i do have some other envelopes in here that i do want to check so let's skip all of the bills renter's insurance is a quarterly bill so i actually might condense this so i have 10 20 10 15 20 25 so let's grab a 20 and keep a five so i still have $25 in this envelope. This is not due until February. Let's get all of my bills. Okay, fees. This is condensed. I can't do anything here. So this is where I put that extra $30. So fees is for when we move out and we have any fees that we need to pay. But this is condensed. So I don't, I can't do anything there. Student loans has... 70 which is condensed and that is it so that is it for this binder next i'm going to go into my variable sinking funds and i like to keep small denominations in here for the most part because we spend out of the these envelopes often so i am going to skip household and pet care health has two dollars but i am going to go into my kitties envelope and i think i could condense that no i can't <laughs> No, I can't. I was going to if I could. I'm saving up to get them a new cat tree. So, home has 50 and that's all. And most of these envelopes are empty. So, entertainment has 10, 15, 20. So, I'm going to go ahead and get a $20 bill for this. Sick day has 15. Let's get some better bills. Well, the fives are all bad, but I have some good tens. So 15 for sick day, and that is it for this binder. Next up is sinking funds. So the first envelope here I have is car registration. So I already have 200 in the bank, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65. So let's swap this out for a 50. I'm gonna grab a better 10 and keep the five so car registration still has 200 in the bank 250 65. car maintenance has 530 pet emergency has 
215, so I can't do anything there. Medical has 28, so I cannot condense that. Wedding has seven. House, I can condense this, so I'm gonna take these two tens and grab a 20. So house still has 43. And I believe that is all. Yep. Okay, so sinking funds is done. Okay, I'm not sure what I have in here because I only have, my Thanksgiving envelope is depleted, so I only have anniversary, which has 70, and that is condensed. Okay, so nothing in my holiday binder. Next up is our travel binder, which I know can be condensed. So this envelope, my Japan envelope, can be condensed. So I already have 1,400 in the bank, so I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna condense the cash first and then condense the placeholders. So I need to grab a sticky note. I just like to keep track of how much money I'm putting into what account. So Japan is going into our joint savings. Okay, so I have 50, 100, 50, 200. So I'm going to put that here and grab two $100 placeholders. Um, hold on. I'm actually going to separate this. So that's what I just put. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. So I'm going to put this back and get another $100 placeholder. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 36. So I can grab a 20. 10, 5, 6. So I just condensed this. Okay. So I have 36 in cash. And then I just put $300 in here to go back to the bank. So Japan is 300. So I should have the same amount. 1,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 1,700, 20, 30, 35, 36, which is the correct amount. And I could check that on my uh, tracker, but I did not update it because I just filmed the cash stuffing, so the amount is not updated on here. But since I just filmed that video and I just stuffed this envelope, I remember how much it was, and it was 1736. So Japan is good. Next is pre trip shopping. So pre trip shopping has 50, 70, 90, 95, 100 dollars. So I'm going to put a 100 dollar placeholder in there. And this is also going into our joint savings. So we have free trip shopping. We are taking 100 back to the bank. So that's all that this envelope has. Next is after vacation. So we already have 300 in the bank. I have two 50s, so that can be a $100 placeholder. 50, 70, 90, 100. So that's another. 100 okay so after vacation is getting two hundred dollars back to our joint savings so after vacation has one two three four five hundred dollars which i can now grab a five hundred dollar placeholder because i would rather have one placeholder than five which is the point of the condensing so after vacation has $500. Okay, road trips has 45 and all of these other envelopes are empty. So that is it for our travel binder. Next up is going to be my personal binder. So I'm going to keep my coffee money as is. Nothing in nails, hair only has 20. Skincare has 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32. I'm actually going to keep these small denominations for my skincare. So that's going to stay the same. Clothing has a $50 bill. Beauty has 15. Shoes has 12. Haircuts just has 10. And then these envelopes are empty. Okay, so nothing in my 
personal binder. I'm going to go into my second personal binder. So in here, I have 15 in toiletries. Prescriptions has 10, 20, 25, 30, 31. So I'm going to grab a better 10 and a 20. So prescription still has $31. Dental, I haven't stuffed this. So yeah, I cannot condense it. It has 180. Electronics just has 100 already in the bank. My envelope for Logan has 20, 30, 35, 40. So I can exchange these bills for a 20. So I still have $40 in here. School has 500 in the bank and then 65, so I can't do anything there. Graduation photos has 55. Classroom has 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So I can swap out these bills for a 20. So classroom still has $40. Okay, and then my birthday envelope has 10 and then gifts has 15 but I'm going to grab some nicer bills for this so $15 still in gifts okay and that is it for this binder my last binder is my business binder All right, inventory has 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 6, 7, 8, 9, 81. I think I'm gonna keep the bills like this just because some of the things I buy are kind of not like that expensive, so I like to keep the low denominations. Office supplies has 15. I'm gonna grab some better bills. All right, 15 in office supplies. Packing supplies has 20, 30, 35, 36, 37. So can't do anything with that. Equipment has seven. Shipping has 27, so I can't do anything there. P.O. Box has 60. YouTube just has 10. I'm going to grab a better 10. Okay, taxes. I already have some placeholders, so I'm going to leave that to the side. 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 125, 130, 135, 36, 37, 38. So I have 138. 30. 35, 36, 37, 38, 20, 35, 6, 7, 8. Okay, set that there because I cannot condense $38. So here I have 50, 70, 90, 95, 100. So I'm going to grab a $100 placeholder. And then taxes is just going to my savings because this has nothing to do with Logan. So taxes is getting $100 back to the bank, but I can condense these placeholders. So I have 5,000, 6,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. So six, $6,638 in taxes. So I cannot condense the 5,000 and the 1,000. So one, two, three, four, five, six hundred. So I'm going to keep 100 and this 500 is going to get a new $500 placeholder. So I still have 5,000, 6,000, 6,500, 600 and 38 dollars in taxes. Okay, miscellaneous has five dollars. Canva Pro has 20, 40, 45, 50. So 
So I'm gonna grab a $50 bill. Mm. That's good. All right, $50 in Canva Pro. Shopify has 100 in the bank, 1025. So I'm gonna grab a 20. So 125 for Shopify. And then website domain has 14. So I can't do anything there. So that is it for my condensing. But I combined all of this money that I'm taking back to the bank from my sinking funds with my rent money. So I need to separate that. So going back to the bank, I have a total of $300, $400, $600, $700. So $700 is going to our savings. And then the $1,200 is going to my checking to pay my rent. So let's count how much we have. So I should have $1,900 total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 550. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, to 20, 2, 40, 2, 60, 2, 80, 300. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30. So 130. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10. So 110. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So $1,900 is correct. So... I just need to split this up, 1200 and then 700 So I'm going to just do that off camera. That is it for this cash condensing. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in my next video.